Okay, we're gonna do one more of these uh, kind of proofs um, that uh, that um, one function is big O of another function. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna take a cubic function uh, that has a multiple of x cubed plus a bunch of other terms, right? And let's prove that that is big O of x cubed. Okay, so what we need to do is um, find witnesses, C and K, such that um, this is gonna be less than or equal to some multiple of this, that's C multiple of this, for x bigger than K, right? So um, the proof is gonna be all about working with inequalities. Okay, so let's start with our, uh, our function that we want to show is big O of x cubed. Um, 5x cubed plus x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now, I want to show that that's less than or equal to something. So less than or equal to. Now, what I can do, what I really want to do is get some multiple of x cubed. So what I can do is take these terms that are less than x, x you know, that are of lower powers, and I can relate them somehow to x cubed. So, for example, x squared is going to be less than or equal to x cubed if x is bigger than 1, right? Remember that the x squared kind of does this and the x cubed does this, right? x squared, x cubed, like that and like that. And so this happens when, you know, when x equals 1 right here. So remember that uh, this inequality is going to be true as long as, we're t as long as we're greater than 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, replace the plus x squared term with a plus x cubed term. Okay? And then we have a plus 3x plus 2. Now, uh, that, uh, that substitution that I just did is as long as x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay? So, so far, x greater than or equal to 1. Let me kind of keep track of this over here in orange. I've got so many different colors today. This is fun. Um, x greater than or equal to 1. Um, so now, so far, we've got that. All right. So now what we're going to do is take the 3x and take 3x and replace the x with something. So x would be, uh, how does x work? x also works like this. Okay, here's x. x is also going to be less than x cubed as long as we're bigger than 1. So we can do the same idea. We can say um, that this is going to be less than or equal to 5x cubed plus our x cubed and then plus 3x cubed plus 2. Again, if uh, x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. I just realized um, that this example is not as good as I thought it was. Sorry, I'm going to edit this example slightly. Let's make this plus 20. Plus 20, plus 20, plus 20. That's going to make it a little more interesting. Okay, so now, um, now we have to figure out how, so far, so far we have a bunch of x cubed, right? So far we have all these as multiples of x cubed now. Oh, here's the change I made. I made this change right here, and that is still going to make it bigger, right? Uh, as long as x is greater than 1. But now I need to take this 20 and replace that with some sort of x cubed. Um, and that I can do, uh, 20 is going to be somewhere up here, right? 20, you know, y equals 20 up here. And I have to figure out what x value, what x value is right here. What x value is 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 where the x cubed function is going to become greater than twenty. Well, uh, let's look for an integer. Uh, it doesn't actually. So the exact answer here is actually going to be the cube root of twenty, right? But let's look for an integer that'll work. So uh, let's see. Two cubed is eight. Three cubed is twenty-seven, right? So as soon as we get to three. 3 should be somewhere over here, right? As soon as we get to 3, then x cubed is going to be bigger than 20, and therefore um, we will have, you know, we, we will be able to replace our 20 with x cubed and be guaranteed of a larger number. So I'm going to write less than or equal to. You notice I could combine these like terms, but I'm just not doing it quite yet. I'm going to replace my 20 with x cubed. But that is true only... Um, if x is greater than or equal to, not only if, but it's true at least if x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay. Um, it could have been the cube root of 20, but I just wanted to pick an integer to make it nice and easy. So as long as x is greater than or equal to 3, then we can be guaranteed of this. So now, um, what we can do is combine these together. So this is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is equal to 10x cubed, right? And what we need to do is look at our different uh, restrictions on what x has to be in order for this inequality to hold. And we need to take the biggest one. So the biggest one is 3. Um, so what we have overall here is we found that 5x cubed 
plus x squared plus 3x plus 20 is guaranteed to be less than or equal to 10x cubed if x is greater than or equal to 3. And now our multiple that we used right here, the multiple we ended up comparing, the multiple of x cubed we ended up comparing this to was 10. So c equals 10. And the, uh, and the x value that we are comparing to over here is 3. So k equals 3. Um, and so here, now, we have shown with these as our witnesses, this just makes me think of um, Mad Max and those, 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 those drivers with the, with, the, with, the, with the silver spray paint, you know, witness me. Here are our witnesses witnessing the, uh, witnessing the, uh, the, the growth, right? witnessing the fact that this growth is uh, big enough, right, uh, to, to show that, uh, therefore, Yes, this big cubic function, 5x cubed plus x squared plus 3x plus 20, yes, that is indeed big O of x cubed, okay? And you can also show, you can imagine, you could also show x cubed is big O of this. Um, I won't show that one, uh, but you can, because they're both cubic functions. So these are going to be of the same order, uh, like I find in the last video. So um, it turns out that uh, things that are... Um, Things that are the same, um, like polynomials that are of the same degree, are always of the same order. Okay, uh, those aren't uh, necessarily the only things, but um, but they, that 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 will be that will be true. Um, there's other things that you can have that are of the same order, but I'm going to get into that a little more um, in in the next few videos.